Hi, I'm Alex Wood, and I'm going to be talking about order combinations along the lines with probability and permutations. So, first, I'm going to explain to you what this explanation point right here means. Like, for example, if you see a number that says 3 exclamation point, that is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, and that would equal 6. So I don't know how long the explanation point has been around, but it's used in these equations a lot of times. So next, I'm going to explain order in the order combinations. So if you have a problem and you're reading it, if it says a specific amount of people fit this amount of jobs, then that's when you know order matters. But if they're just throwing numbers around, then that's when order does not matter. So let's go to the example problem. You have five people who want to apply for five different positions. Let's just say the positions are president, vice president, treasurer, secretary, and defend, head of state. So order would matter for that because you're trying to name which people can go on which position. So one, one person equals one position. So let's start this equation out. Order definitely matters for this one, and I'll show you why in a minute. Because if you were going to just do order does not matter, then you would have N, which is your five people, and R, which is your five positions. The first number you usually see in the equation is your N, and the second number is your R. So you would have five people, that's N equals five, over n, which is 5, plus 5, which would equal 5 out of 10. So the probability of a person getting a position is 5 out of 10, trying to get one specific position, which makes perfect sense. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for how many combinations can you make. So now on the next equation, you have n minus 1, which is 5 minus 1, equals... 4 over r, which is 5, with the explanation point, over n, which is 5, with the explanation point. So the way you would solve this is now you have to solve for 5 explanation point. And that is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now the 1 doesn't matter in this. So you go to 5 times 4 is 20, times 3, that's 60, times 2, that's 120. <clears throat> Let me erase that. So you've got 120 on the bottom, and you've got the same thing up here. 5 with that is 120, times 4. Now, obviously, the 120s can cancel out because they're multiplying. So then you've got 4, 5, and 5. And that would make, there's 14 possible different solutions. That's all.